What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to another episode of the Uncommon Bond Podcast. We are here with the usual cast of characters. We got MC in the building. Nope. What up, what up? We got King Picasso. Yes, sir. What's up, everybody? We got Gift of Gab, the GOG. I'm going to tame them when it's noches. <clears throat> we have the R&B Rava, R&B Reed. Yo, he's having he's having some ice cream. Yeah, I'm it's cheat day. I got I got a Magnum ice cream bar, Ooh. and I'm dipping it in the Bailey's. I'm having a good time right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and myself, bottom shelf stuff in the building. I got a crazy one to just talk about real quick. Because at work, you know, you have the craziest conversations at work. And this week, somebody brought up, like, you know, just sexual moments. When you were single or whatever the case be like, when do you feel like you was on top of your game? And I say, yo, you know what? One night, years ago, <laughs> I gave out some some SSD. And they was like, what's that? I said, that's, that's, that's Michael Jordan, 1992 in the finals. That's shoulder shrug dick. I was on point. I was, everything was working. Every, every position I put her in was perfect. Every throw was magnificent. She looked at me, I looked at her. I just did this like, yo, I don't even know what I'm doing, but it's awesome tonight. It was a shoulder shrug dick. That was my moment. Years ago, y'all ever had a shoulder shrug dick moment? Shoulder shrug dick moment. When you just look at you, you look at your joint when it's over, like, ah, nigga, you done did your thing. Good shit. <laughs> but, but, but Good Bob, you know, I, why was it years ago? I, I get one at least once a year. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, the crazy thing about that is every man has had a shoulder shrug moment. But the flip side of that is everybody's woman sure did too. Mm -hmm. You better hope that was with you. <laughs> Impossible. Because she ain't forget that. If it was with somebody else, she ain't forget she, it. She be she sitting at home it. by herself. She get one of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Girl. <laughs> Girl. I would never, you know, he was full of shit, but girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he was full of shit, but girl. I know I'm, a, I'm in a few of those conversations. <laughs> he, ain't step. he ain't shit, but girl. <laughs> yo, so look, yo, bottom shelf stuff. What we got on the agenda tonight, man? Well, we're gonna talk about a few things, you know what I mean, on the agenda. Tonight, uh per se, we're gonna talk some relationship stuff because you know they love to talk the relationships. Who's and they? Who's they? Who's they? The people. We don't um, want to say the people. And also, happy International Women's Day, although it is past. And where else are we? What is this month? What is this month? History month. month. Right, Women's History Month. Women's History Yo, Month. Wait, while, while we're talking about that, quick question. And I honestly don't know the answer to this, so y'all help me out. No. Is International Women's Month for every woman? Or is it for international women? Hmm. I'm, I'm just going everywhere. When you hear the word international, though. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought women's Shout out to Hot 97 Morning Show with their button of congratulations. <laughs> you played yourself. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. Hey, educate me, brother. Because I'm, I'm asking you I feel like as we grow, every year there's like a new day. Yeah. Son, son love month. Bring your kids yeah. to work Daughters love Hey, like, Bring your kids to work day was always going on. This is true. That this was. I that was. Was. But all these other ones? These other new ones shit. New. new. Yeah, they all well, was bring your daughter to work because that was fucked up. They didn't have bring your son to work. I thought it was bring your child to work. Nope. It was no? before all this gender neutral shit. It was bring your daughter to work day and it was only. Really? Girls, I, I used to hate that shit. I don't remember. I didn't remember that. I don't remember. I no. thought it was bring your. I thought it was bring your child to work. Nope, that's now gender neutral shit. 
before it was bring your son, your daughter to work day. And I didn't understand why the fuck the girls, because I cut school that day. I'll never forget that <laughs> shit. It was in the seventh grade. I said, I'm tired of this shit. And I cut class. I cut school that day. You went to your to your, they might have just told you. Huh? You Did you cut school and go to your parents' job? <laughs> no, I actually cut school and went with my homegirls that helped me, that opened the side door for me because they was off because it was bring your fucking daughter to fucking work day. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Listen, my parents never had a job that they could take me to anyway, so I never paid attention to them shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Word. My, mom my parents would have got fired work. taking me to work. Yeah. I never got to take what? it to work. You're not been to sweep and bring this little nigga. <laughs> how, you, how you gonna wash these dishes with yeah. this what, girl? What's he supposed to do? I'd have been the kid from Set It Off. Remember she took him and he drank the Ajax? I would have been me at my parents' job. <laughs> like, all right, guess yeah. we're gonna mix this shit together, life. So Here we go. So that was a the effect of the day was explosive. So it was then expanded in 2003 to include boys. Wow. And that's one to grow on. Thank you, RB. Right. You got receipts. That's what I'm talking about. Receipts. Did not know that. Did not know that. How did y'all not but, remember but look, that? No, it was look. excluded. No, I didn't know that. that was but excluded yo, anyway. Nobody is, but nobody exactly. answered my question. Do we not know that? Or am I do I get the like the donkey the day joint? Is it the international woman from other places or just every woman's uh <laughs> that one I, I just thought it was for everybody, but a I woman, don't know. a woman, a woman from here would be Consider international to a woman abroad. Oh, oh, I get what you're saying. Two fish. I get what you're saying, but that's an American. But no, no, that's an American thing. International woman. So I'm thinking it's hey, let's. How you know you ain't you ain't been the motherfucking. Ukraine or nothing yeah, like that. Like, no, 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 I think you're saying it's, it's an American. It's an American holiday or yeah, American, that's an American recognition. thing. So yeah, I'm American thinking American. they want to honor the international women who are in right. this country. That's right. what I thought it was. Oh, in this country. Oh, in this country. Yes. But you know in what? Honor of Cass, that. that is not a dumb question. That is a cast question. So <laughs> yeah. we are, we are, own <laughs> category. Yeah, he got it. He because the cast question he, can provoke thought. <laughs> And it can also make you be like, huh? <laughs> and it can provoke niggas. That's what it is. In honor of this day, I am going to take a moment to just say, please, whoever's listening on all platforms, we need to bring Brittany Griner home. She does not deserve to be over there in Russia for weed oil, for marijuana oil. They talking about some 10 years. We can't have that sister over there like that. Mm. That's Trump crazy. Got home. Huh? Trump would have got home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yo, we had a lot of different topics tonight, yo. <laughs> all right. That's a fact. We all over. This is called the schizophrenia episode of. He got, uh, he got ASAP back. You know what I'm saying? Now, nah, I'm going left. Wait, hold on. Did, did he, he get Kodak left. out? Did he get Kodak black out or some shit like that? He, one did. One time? he got a couple rappers out of trouble. Kodak black. Wheezy, Wheezy, yeah. Lou Hobbs, Lou Hobbs from his, from Brooklyn, a street nigga. Wow, Harry O, that mm. um, the dude from Death Row. Come on now, Trump would have got shorty out of Russia. Mm. <laughs> he would have. My own. And he got ties. And he got ties to Russia, of course. Who so is this nigga? That's his his nigga. We wouldn't be going that's through this like shit that. if Trump was in office, because right. Trump no how to handle his business. So he's like, yo, look, you know what I mean? Kim Jong-un, Putin, I need y'all niggas to chill. We gonna break bread. I see y'all <laughs> niggas at the bar. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> what I'm what we not gonna do Word. is we not gonna start this war because it's gonna fuck up the money. Money is it on his own. It's, it's gonna create more money though, too. That's the Money thing. respect <laughs> money though. Dollars respect dollars. It's Biden can't money. sit at that table. He don't got that type of thing. Got that type of Why y'all talk about money, man? Talk about that gas price. Bro. Man, listen. Uh, I just ordered my yeah. bike. I got a mongoose on the way. <laughs> Shout out to Team Tesla, you heard, man. Yo. For all Yo, you niggas that can't afford an electric vehicle, mm -hmm. holler at me. I got mongooses for sale. You know what I <laughs> mean? Get, that, get your pedal game up. 
I was looking at a Prius for real, for real. I was like, yo, I'm about to get this Prius because I got to teach my daughter how to drive anyway. So that's going to be her car. So I was uh, uh, I'm like, yo, we're we going to save more gas. 50 miles a gallon? Oh, that's crazy. We're going to do that. So while we talk about how fast gas prices have went up, we're going to keep it on speed. Mm. What is the speed of rebound in a relationship? When is it a good time to jump back into a relationship with somebody else after you break up? How long does it take for a dude? A week. A week. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you heard it here first, ladies. No, he could not wait. Okay, he could not wait to give his answer. He's talking about speed. You. He jumped I all over. I promise that. you. I promise you. <laughs> One week. He Yo, was like, "Yeah, it's Yo, time." Can, can you imagine? Seven? And I'm surprised. I'm surprised he didn't say seven days. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised this man didn't say seven days. Right. <laughs> nah, but yo, but I mean, let's 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 talk about that, man. I mean, look at Kanye West and Kim. Like, but she, I guess the um the the subjective part of this question is like a lot of people tend to say the relationship was over a year ago or yes, years ago. You feel me? So yeah. when they do move on, while it appears that it seems like it's been two months. They always say, well, I've been, been over. We would, we were just living together. We were just roommates. So, right. you know what I'm saying? But like, what is an ideal time? Six months, you know, three months, whatever, like, you know, a year. What do you think? When is it time to jump back in the game? I my opinion, there is no ideal time. It depends on how damaged you are from that relationship. Mm. Mm. And if you are at fault. Or how much time you spent in that. So however much time you spent in that relationship, you might want to divide that no. from the equation. <laughs> I wouldn't say that part, bottom shelf. Bottom shelf. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that part if you at fault, because you could not be at fault and still be damaged for a very long time. And a lot of, you know, women suffer from that when men cheat on them. They just get damaged for a very long time. But here's my when, thing. I think that there's always fault for both. I don't believe yeah, that. Yeah. I don't. I don't believe in one person's fault for relationships breaking up. I do believe there's one person's action ended mm -hmm. it, but there yeah. was a ping pong of situations that went wrong, and then yeah. something blew up. Most cases, that's true. Like even if it's not my fault, you got to look in the mirror and be like, well, "What did I do that led to this?" I think you can always find that there's a reason. For every, you know, every action has a reaction, mm. kind of thing. But I'd say if you were with Shorty for six years, I'd say you should just chill for about six months. You know, have a have a couple random fucks, <laughs> and then and then and then get back in. You know, <laughs> right? I agree with you, Bottom. After six years, I'm not gonna call you Bottom anymore because that's just very uncomfortable. I <laughs> you said that before, but you keep going. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> got a long ass name. Like, you Steph. Steph, it is. <laughs> so wait, wait, no, no. So wait, MC, seven days, really? That's all you need. All you need? No, I don't, you know what it is? I don't think it's seven days to jump in a relationship. I think it's seven days to no to get back in the game. So you roll the whole, you roll your loads. <laughs> I don't think it take that long to. Not necessarily to be like, oh, I got a girl or I got a man, you know. But to, but to know you want to smash something else. Yeah, I mean, to know <laughs> you want to go to that next level and chill with somebody else. I mean, or go out, chill. But it, it will seem odd that you're doing that within a seven-day time period. It makes it seem as if you were ready for that situation to end. But I think it's just, I think as far as like going back in the game in hopes of getting somebody else and dating, I think. No, I, I would say about three months, bro. It depends. But, you know, it depends on the feelings that you have for the other person. Because in many cases, man, like, you know, you, you know, sometimes you love a person more than, you know what I mean? You don't want to, you just want to chill by yourself. And, you know what I mean? I think right, it's learn, about. Learn yourself before you jump back in the game, so to speak. Uh -huh. I think it's about uh -huh. with, I think it's about like our age. Because in my 20s, it would be easy to be like, I'm with I'm with MC on the seven dates. And I'm talking about seven days to be at the, you know, 
seven days later, I'm in the club and I'm like, yo, like, you know, give me some hair. Give I me love some it. Hair. You know me? And then I'm yeah, like I, I just really believe that like I gave less of a fuck <laughs> in my 20s. Mm. And then you know, as we grew up a little bit more as far as like being in our 30s, shout, sure. shout, sure. shout out to the brothers that are still in their 30s. I hope <laughs> old ass niggas. But um <laughs> shout out to the brothers that still, you know, I'm on my last year that 30 bed, right? But um, it will hurt more, me personally, it will hurt me a little bit more to know that after seven days, the person that I've been with for five plus years is like, yo, yeah, you know, I went out the other night and I took something down. Or if I found out that she took something down and I think vice versa, because you share more, you share home, you share life, you share supermarket runs, you share like a whole lifestyle in your twenties. You just share a relationship, like dates and shit, and maybe an occasional <laughs> fucking trip every now and then. But things are—it's a little bit more serious as you get older. So I, I think it's about age. Young relationship, you fucking two days after. Older relationship, you're hurting if you fucking two days after. And that's where we at with it. <clears throat> Man. Yo, gift the guy. What you think about that? I think, um, I think, like MC said, like you, you, you gotta uh, know thyself. I think whatever time, however, this time nigga went. Like, you quoted Hamlet just now, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Did no, you just I'm, quote I'm, Hamlet, bro? To thy no self be true. <laughs> <laughs> Hamlet, nigga. <laughs> Um, but yeah, until you get that, whenever you come to that conclusion, that's when you jump back in the game. However long that takes for somebody, that that that's just different. But so so let so, so let me ask y'all this: What do y'all think about breaks in relationships? Does it relate? Does does breaks in relationships work? Are timeouts healthy for you? Yeah, so or, let me let me let me say something. Now, it's no sense. Yeah, continue me. on that. Continue on that. Just, it just it just it needs to be reset. The reset button, you know, that's reset buttons. If, if people know how to press a reset button, that I mean that 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 is more required than a break. I'm just saying. Mm. Mm. But so 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 in, in somewhat in some part, you're okay with breaks in relationship. Wait, Gifts wait. the gap. Nah, that, that don't. That, there's no such thing. Like if you break, no, it, you a, take a break. It's a wrap, baby. It's not, there's no <laughs> <looking back. laughs> Right. I'm just trying to get some clarity. I'm trying to get it's some no clarity. Back. All nah, right, so, like, so I'm looking this way, right? I'm looking forward. If you want to keep going this way, I'm sorry. I can't meet you. Like, I'm over here with it. So, like, I ain't going back. I'm going forward. We even reset. Start over. But breaks. So, breaks break. are no, but resets are good for you. Yeah, reset the yeah. bottom shelf. Wait, wait, wait. What? Wait, what's a reset, brother? That's we gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. Nah, bottom get to that set. shit now. What's Yo, a reset? So breaks. We ain't gonna. He's gonna breaks lose his good? train of thought. Breaks Let him go, good, man. Though. Let him go. Let him go. Explain. Yeah, it. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get so, so like we know, like so breaks are like okay. Breaks is like breaks. We still together without being together. Right, but breaks people. There, there'll, there'll be people within the breaks. Like, oh, I was on the break, and you be chilling with something. No, reset. We still together, but we gonna forget all the BS, and we gonna move forward. That's a reset. That's not a break. A break is like, okay, right. we gonna separate, and we'll see if we want to be together. We might see somebody <laughs> else to, to see so, if. So we... Do you forget the balls and the jaws? That's what you say. And I. <laughs> exactly. That's what. That's what happens when you on a break. So when you on a break, when 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 men and women go on a break, you're on a break. That's when, that's that's when the women. That's when the women and her friends take her to balls in the jaws. I think. Yeah. Oh. I think that's I balls think in the that jaws, Mexico. Why you? Yo. But yo. But yo. why do you think the woman? Hey, go ahead. Why do you think the woman on a break <laughs> is doing that? I mean, we both. I mean, both men and women will do it. Honestly. I mean, we, we first the first a man will go straight to the strip club like, oh, we on the break. Okay, I got time. All right, fellas, you come know. on, we going, we going to such and such and such. Come on now, that's the first thing. Even which way is going to go is either balls in the jaw. You don't take the break to self reflect. 
Yeah, you take a break on that flight to yeah. P.O.P. I'm P. reflecting. P. I'm reflecting. I'm reflecting. You know what P.O.P. <laughs> yeah, you know me. Yeah, what the like, fuck? Yo, <laughs> yo, I'm yo. like this. I'm thinking, but I'm still reflecting in the, you know. In the we club. have MC. MC. MC, are you okay with breaks in the relationship? I am. I am okay with breaks, bro. You okay uh, with, okay. And I mean, I just think sometimes, I think sometimes it's okay to, to, to take a, to, I mean, if there is a break, it's a break that in hopes of like, you know, they say out of sight, out of mind, or, you know, the distance make the heart grow fonder. So my point in saying that is like, which one is it? You know what I'm saying? I would love to know which one it is if we do have a break. So I'm okay with a break. I just think like, cause I think it then determines where we go. We go left, we go right. You know what I'm saying? And I think it, it once we get back, we kind of realize like, yo, this is what it is. That break, you probably dated somebody that you realized that it wasn't your cup of tea, vice versa. And then you realize that you missed this person. You know what I'm saying? So I think breaks, I'm okay for breaks. I just don't think a long extended break is a long extended break, you're talking about like, you know, strip club doing your thing, but like you're talking about a month. Yeah, I'm okay with a month break or more, a little bit more. So on your month break, I tell you, <laughs> yo, Mike, man, I got two tickets, man. We That flight to P.O.P. leave LaGuardia at 8 a.m. We out. I'm out. I mean, I'm out. But what is it? What? You, you out yo, and you also that's gonna be in, yo, also gonna be in too. Wait, 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 wait. Yo. So y'all expect me to be home for that month just sobbing? Oh, no, you want to come to P.O.P., baby. To reflect on you. you be, like, yeah, he's going to be self-reflecting. Hey, I will reflect on the beach. I'm reflecting you know, the other days I'm not there. Hey, yo, yo, we got yo, we got, our, we got that six member in the building. G Gorgeous, what's good with you, man? Uh, know, we, know, we know you had to take care of some family things, but you here, man. And we just want to know, are um, breaks good in relationships, brother? No. Don't get it. Don't give me time to think. <laughs> I see you pouring over there, though. What you drinking, dog? Oh, shit. It's about to get fancy. The red wine. <laughs> but, but Cass. Yo, yo Cass is big Jamaican. Don't, don't give me time to think, Cass. <laughs> don't, red don't. wine. Red wine. Stella. Stella, listen, don't, do, don't, don't let me eat, Stella. <laughs> don't, don't let me sit in my stew. Not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same. I feel the same. I feel the same. Breaks are, I feel like breaks are a thing that it's more of an immature, I think it's a maturity thing. I think in your 20s, you might think breaks are all right, but when you mature, you, you decide not to take a break. You might take a reset. And try to work work is, through it. This is a reset, son. So no, reset. But, so hey, G, explain it, sir. Dig is creating new words out here. It's when no balls so, are in the so jaw. So listen. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain. No so balls. a reset so would be like, I, I, in my in my in my opinion, a reset would be like, okay, shit ain't been going right. Let's let's go let's go take a weekend and get away. Let's go away for a couple of days. Let's talk. Let's have Together? a good time. Just one on one, and no then let's focus. Reset. That's a good That's time. A no, the reset, you're supposed to go with me. We yeah. 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 come with me. And put some balls in another jaw. That's what you said. P.O.P., yeah, you know wait, wait. me. Hold on. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. When in, in relationships, breaks mean revaluation. Mm. Right? I'm not good with breaks. I said breaks. I said right. there's a that maturity means, thing. Right. I think what adults is, go on a reset and work together to fix uh, it so you uh, could uh, move forward. Uh, Picasso, yeah. define, define a break. What's a break? So there's been times where people had instances, whatever, court cheating, but not really cheating. Uh, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you, know, you, know, like oh, you looked at her, you talked to her, all that other shit, like, you know, but, but so in the relationship isn't going really right. It ain't going perfect. And I think a reset is more like, all right, listen, no, 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 I didn't ask you a reset. What's a break? Oh, a break is, listen, you go over there, I stay over here, 
I'll check in on you every now and then and say, hello, see how you doing? Make sure you ain't sick and dying while I'm over here. But you over there, I'm over here, and that's that. I talk that, to you when a, I talk to you. Nah, that's, that's not a break. Good. That's not that's good. not good. I never, I, I, I never would um, I'm a, recommend listen, that. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, my definition for a break is if something happens within the relationship that puts you in a position to where you want to evaluate what's going on. So you just ask for some time to play with your thoughts, see if this is where you really want to be, see if it's worth it. That's what a break is. Breaks are no good. First of yeah. all, my definition of a break is, well, first of all, I just want to point out that I don't think bottom shelf Steph's microphone works. I think he's <laughs> using it for cosmetic purposes only. And he just wants us all to believe that he's in a professional studio. That... Your microphone annoys the shit out of me. That is, that is you know, a right? good light skin observation. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't I don't think breaks are good or bad. You'd be surprised. There are couples that you've heard of that, like, you know, they took a break, but they never labeled it. You know, they just, yo, shit happened. Arguments were getting out of control and they took some time apart. They thought they were breaking up, but guess what? They realize, especially if kids are involved, after going back and forth of bringing the kids to this and bringing the kid to that, birthday pops up, Easter pops up. They realize what's um, important. Pops up, interaction starts going on. Mm -hmm. They realize and the chemistry is still there and they get back together. But that's okay. So it's all like, it's all subjective. Like MC said, you know, like it's whatever, it's however you fucking make it happen. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it is what it is. Keep it pushing. So my opinion, breaks are not good or bad. They just are what the fuck they are. And hopefully something good comes out of it. And if it don't, we meet in bottom shelf at P.O.P. P.O.P., yeah. Uh, okay, well, it, it, uh, giving out some of that opinion. shoulder shrug. Hey, <laughs> Cass, since we're talking maturity, breaks don't work, therapy does. Ew. Yeah, get yeah. the fuck out of here. I agree. I agree. You listening to Charlemagne this morning? <laughs> I agree. Oh, fuck therapy. I agree. Y'all can't oh, talk through God. it together. Have a mediator help you get through it. Therapy. That's right. That help. Let a masseuse help you. Mediator. Mediator. Oh, yeah. So they say if you can't, it, it, it's things like this. I feel, I feel like if you rub it out, you either can forget. Rub it. They already has it goes. You either can forget and forgive, rub or forgive and forget. You got to do one. Oh, you can't do both. Guys, is going back to it. You can't but do if both. You, so if, if, you if you're going to pick one, I, I suggest you pick forgive. Egos right. by ego. Right. So you can forgive, <laughs> but never forget. Yeah. But and, you, and the, human, you, the human nature doesn't allow you to forget, but it allows you to forgive. Right. right. Well, listen, on that topic, what was everybody drinking on? MC, what you got? Yeah, I'm drinking yes, rum, son. I need a rum tonight. Oh, you hard with it. Yeah, Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Woo. Oh, Woo. wait a minute. All right. Come on, pause All on right. the balls on the balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I'm and drinking. I put my balls in your jaws. <laughs> yo, yo, that shit is a classic, by the way. That classic. I found. <laughs> this, I, I don't know. Y'all better look it up. Look it up. Yo, I'll never balls forget. Balls in your jaws. <laughs> yo. Not. Yeah. This is and, that bullet. Uh -huh. Bullet. Bourbon. Bullet. Mm. Bullet. Bourbon whiskey. Bullet. Bullet, mm. some bourbon on ice, and my nice little and black heritage club, black heritage cup. Yo, let me check. Let me tell you something real quick. No, nope. yo, this cup you fucked up with the cup. <laughs> yo, nah, yo, this cup is <laughs> as old blood. as me. This is, God rest the dead. This is my father's cup, and yeah. I had and he had this cup when I was a kid. It got Langston Hughes on it, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, a lot of um, Frederick Douglass. There's a lot of people inside of this um on both sides of this cup. And I remember when I was like five years old seeing this cup, you know what I mean? And, and that's as far back as I could remember this cup when I was five, but I know he had this cup when when I was, before I was born. So 
Shout out, rest in peace to Pops. And I'm drinking out of Pops. Rest in peace, Pops. I like that. Yo, this 40 year old cop right here. This is good. see what you got. Real, real ass niggas. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging out with the Germans tonight. Drinking some G-O-G, so. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's on my bed. I said G Cordis. I'm full. Yeah. I'm full. Yeah. 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 Hey, I'm, I'm good, good. I'm I'm starting. Good. I'm sipping on some Jameson. I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. Okay. Right, okay. Nigga, is that a gold cup? A gold what? and a gold cup. This nigga got a chalice? <laughs> yes, man. That's right. Oh. Sally, you got on be ring. What you sipping on over there? Nigga, I done told y'all already. I'm fucking sipping on Bailey's and I fucking oh. dipped the chocolate magnum in that shit. Oh, you know what I'm oh. saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Pause again. Yo. <laughs> Pause. What would you do? <laughs> I'm in a tropical place, so I'm having rum and coke. But it's a hey, tropical fruity. nigga. That is ghetto. <laughs> no, because this Pepsi is mango, mango Pepsi with tropical calories. Bacardi. It's tropical rum and coke, y'all. It's for the streets <laughs> of POP. Join me in Puerto Plata DR next week where we will sin, 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 sin. sin. Well, why are we no, talking about no. it? No, we go to P.O. Wait, no, we go to P.O.P. to self-reflect, man. Come on. That's to self-reflect and write books. Yes. And burn sage. Kyrie Irving. Hey, that's what we go to Starbucks for. Steph <laughs> go to P.O.P. to put some balls in the jaw. That's what Steph <laughs> going to do. And I. And I. <laughs> and talking about forgiving and forgetting, fellas, we all men here, women mm -hmm. out here lying on their pussy. Chris Brown, thank you for standing up. And putting up oh, the what, real shit. What, what happened with that Chris Brown thing? Yeah, this she chick, like she raped. She talking Explain about rape. Explain rape. it. So, so MC. What's so, and thing? I don't even know all the facts, but my wife put me on this morning. This morning, she was like, "Can you believe this girl?" I was like, "What happened?" She said, "Yo, this girl claimed Chris Brown raped her, but then mm -hmm. he had he had receipts. He had voicemails from her saying like, yo." I, I want to see you again. I just want you to smash me again. Mm -hmm. Like you're the best I ever crazy. had. Yeah, you're the best I ever had. Mm -hmm. Like that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that sounds like rape to me. And what I would like to say, I did get a notification on my phone that said Jesse Smollett, aka Juicy Smollett, got sentenced for 150 days in jail for a filing a false. Um, false crime, a false charge. Why are we not in 2022 to, at a place where women who file false rapes oh, she are, not, go to jail. are not getting sentenced? She should go to jail. That's a fact. I we know, know she should, but why are we not up. here? We need men advocates because that has happened to way too many men. All we need is the assumption that we rape and our name is tarnished on a level that people don't understand. Women, stop playing, man. Stop playing no, with no, men. Playing. Man, stop playing. That shit ain't For right. For real. You open your legs, just deal with him, man. I see. If he ghosts you, oh, well. Oh, well. You can't go out and tell my, oh, he took it. He took it from me. Nah, man. Nah. That's not. The crazy, the crazy part about that is this woman's face won't be plastered nowhere. Oh, no, not at all. Not at she all. won't be. She won't be the victim. Nope. She would just be like, "Oh well, he must have had did something." You hear? You see somebody say, "Well, he must yeah. have had did something." Yeah, he did something. You know he like. You know what I mean? Though. That's kind of crazy. But, but, That's kind of crazy. Wait, wait, but hold on, Mister. Mister. Mike ain't playing for the other team tonight. <laughs> Looking out for the women. Yo, MC. Well, how huh? you stand on this? Uh, this situation of Chris Brown being accused of rape. How you feel about that, brother? I have a different opinion on that old Chris Brown, Trey Song. I was just having this conversation earlier too, man. Like, you know, where there's smoke, bro, there's fire, man. Their names are synonymous with it too whole too much, bro. This nigga here. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. This nigga here. Yo, their names are too. Listen, I know they're young. I know there's groupies. I do know that they're out there. But yo, wh why isn't Mario's name being flooded in in, in a why don't other art like these two little these two dudes, 
Chris Brown and Trey Songz, their name is always synonymous with somebody blaming them for, for rape. I'm going to tell you why. why? I'm going to tell you why. Lou Mario Duvall, had Lou, it Lou, Lou, just for friends. That's why. Right. Lou Duvall said it best. That guys, when you go, when you leave, you got to close the, jo- the door gently. You can't just walk out that motherfucker and slam it. These dudes just out here doing whatever they do. The chicks get their heart involved and they like, yo, fuck you, bitch, I'm out. And they Wait, mad. Come out. They come get mad. Flag on, flag on the plate, man. Hold on a second. Mm. That still has nothing to do with this woman accusing him it of don't. rape. That is it a don't. deadly I'm, I'm accusation. just telling you why. If he goes to jail, he has to deal with that charge and being like, yo, you raping, you out here raping women, so guess what we go do, in, do to you in here? Like, oh, no. that carries a heavy burden, and it should be punishable. It should be. Well, Kat, hold on. Kat, let me explain to you what the issue with that is, right? I think a lot of women get, get raped and, can't, and don't have physical, don't have proof. Right? So I, I think okay. dudes, oh, I'm, listen to me for a minute. I think dudes are literally raping women and based on their stature or power, they get away with it because women don't have physical, don't have real proof. So the reason why they're not trying to arrest women for this because they, they don't want a woman to actually get raped and because she's scared of saying she got raped and don't have proof, wind up in jail. It's like a, it's like a double whammy. So when you're I get, no, it, no, no. Power, I get it, but you have to, no, fuck the double what? whammy shit. Cause when you look at it, right? right. Right. Niggas, the consequences are more grand for a man, believe it or not. So the woman that's lying, she gets, you know, she gets talked about probably in today's day now, she gets talked about on social media for a little while and her life. A week. You know, but the (laughs) man that like Chris Brown literally probably, even though he was, you know, acquitted and all that shit, that that's it, image is gonna stick with him still, like, because think about like what MC said. Him and Trey Songs really do have too many accusations, you know. Like that's it's, there's like a stigma with those motherfuckers. Like that's what they do. Like they have these parties, they do these things or whatever. So the man is affected a little bit more than the woman. So the women that are falsely accusing men, I'm gonna be real with you. Like they gotta be a fucking charge. Like. There has right. to be a charge, you know. Shout it's out good. to the judge that gave Jesse Smollett five months for using the LGBTQ and yeah. Black Lives it's Matter hard. as an excuse. Fuck yeah. out of here! You falsely yeah. accused it. You falsely claim something, bro. Right. For the niggas that falsely claim taxes, shout out to my niggas that's you know getting that PPP free y'all uh, for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but other than that, you trying to put somebody in jail for some shit that they really didn't fucking do? They don't need to be in jail. If the gap, what you feel about that? Nah, I mean, that's, like, you're right, man. Like, come on, man. Like, we got enough brothers in jail. Like, if the brother who do not belong in jail don't need to be in jail, come on, we can, we, we don't need to be sending people to jail that don't need to be in jail. Why are these cats name synonymous with it, though? Cause they got a lot of orgies. They need to stop because, this party and, 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 and that, Listen to me. If if you're bro, if fuck up, that's what they need to do. That part. If, if, I'm, right. on the, the, if I'm, I'm on the road is. more often than Kareem is, I'm more likely to get into an accident. Not true. I mean, this is this is what it is. It's, it's dealing with it's, 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 No, but what, the point. No, listen. The point I'm making is Chris Brown and Trey Songz are more than likely having more women than the average. Bro, no, but they're inviting no, no, because Jay Z don't have it. Thank you. Diddy doesn't have it. These niggas are richer than them. They are inviting themselves. But wait, so, 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 if yo, Ring, just like how you said, they are richer than them. This is a quantity over quality thing. They have a quantity of women. Chris Brown and Trey Songz. Hold on, Chris Brown and Trey Songz. Chris Brown and Trey Songz got. A quantity, a plenty of women following them. Diddy and Jay Z don't got women following them like these zoos. No, even though they got more. No, even though they got more money. Jay Z was a young artist. Diddy was a young artist. No Jay Z has always been the guy with camel lips. He ain't never had no bad things. You hot. He since, smoking since Beyonce. You, you got too much carbon monoxide. He's fucking he up right now. He was dealing with Superhead. Name, name, name another bad joint Jay Z had. 
But bro, he's it's not about how fuck he looks, nigga. It's about the fact that he's been rich for over 25 years. And you can't and name another bad the dream, nigga. Dream, 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 dream. Listen, I know what you're gonna say. Ain't no such thing as a fucking ugly billionaire, nigga. Okay, I'm right. right. Rim. He, Rim. Before, when he wasn't a billionaire back then. Oh, Rim, bro, all he I'm was saying a billionaire. Rim, if, all fucking, I'm... If, if, if Biggie Smalls can get Little Kim, Faith Evans, Charlie Baltimore. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's a whole different. Hold on. About, Rim, no, hold let on. me you go there. If he can get type of bro, money. Head. Money, power, no. respect is the key to life, bro. No, what I'm no, no, trying, no. my point that I was trying Rim, to make is Biggie's a whole different. Let me finish. Let me finish. Trey Songs and Chris Brown, they do not, they don't know how to act with their money. They cannot continue yeah. to throw parties and all of this shit at their homes. You can't invite this shit exactly. to your crib and then and pay then the joints off and pay the joints off to get them off the hook. You can't Come on, Diddy! Uh, oh, these Diddy's niggas was not doing so dumb shit me. like that. They, yo, I still think it's a quantity over quality type oh. of issue. Yo, I, I listen to me. I personally believe that Jay Z stays with a brown paper bag or some some cash, just hand it off to take that and take that with you. <laughs> Bro, you're a genius. Oh, no, whatever happened to that son he had from the chick with Trinidad? That shit just went away. For real. I bet you that kid owns <laughs> Trin half of Trinidad right now. I don't know. Uh, we never heard from him. We ain't heard from him. You said Jay-Z always had camel lips. What the fuck? Yo, nigga, he was shit. always the dude. You, listen, he didn't get cute until he got a lot of money. Yo, yo, Cash, are you really having <laughs> a lot of money? Do this, do this, do this? No, what are you wait, talking no, about, no. bro? To chicks. He hey. didn't get cute to chicks until he had a lot of money. Yo, when was this? 98? Because, like, he's no. been rich for over 24 years. I mean, it was not rich. Yo, no. what? Look, looks don't Yo, matter. Guys, bro, Cass, looks I know you don't matter. matter. But you do not know Jay Z's financial. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cass, all right. don't hey, at the Listen. end of all this, ladies, this because it is your month, I need y'all to hold these women accountable for putting, right. putting, their, putting these false accusations. Claims on dudes when you know you out here opening them legs and then you mm -hmm. get mad because you get your shit it get out here that you really wasn't doing that like you really was doing the, the foulness that shit is upsetting but i got a question for y'all i got two y'all look 15 years younger or read mine for two days which one you take it 15, oh, that's easy. 15 years younger 15 years younger so now here's my thing though younger. right because what black. you think about me and black don't crack, so we already got that. So I'm nah, gonna bro. read the minds because nah. I'm already looking 15 younger, baby. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take reading minds because I'm nah. black already. I'm good. I'm gonna age regardless. You keep like, that black don't crack shit for a t shirt, nigga. I want the 15 years. You hear me? That's because you like black. That's you want that damn white his hairline. That's because he likes him, so they age differently. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shout out to Picasso in, in the process of getting hair plugs. Speaking of hair, yo, yo you want to know something crazy? I cut no. my hair today. Y'all ain't seen yeah, me. Yeah, you were like supposed to be month. growing an afro. Yo, y'all ain't yeah, seen yeah. me in like a month. I grew my hair out, yo. Yeah, I cut my shit about four o'clock today. Yo, so where did the, me, where did the line go? Did you, did you have the RoboCop hairline? I ain't got no comment. No comment. No comment. <laughs> See that Stephen A. Smith? <laughs> George Jefferson. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I was walking out there like George. I walked in the barbershop like George Jefferson. Okay, I, put my ball <laughs> what you got, I told my son. 15 years? I'm going 15 you, not, you not reading mine? I don't want to read no one's mind, bro. 15 years, brother. Damn. Give me, yeah. give, me, give, me 20, give me 25. I still had, listen, give me 25. That's all I'm going to say. 25? 25. All right, give me 15 what? years. Right? 15, I don't, I don't 15 years young. I mean, that's what I'm saying. When I'm really 15 years younger, that means I'm 25. And 25, Picasso, whoo. Oh, Yo, if, oh, even though I look like I'm 15, I still take he the shrugged my shoulders. That's all I was saying. <laughs> oh, you oh, was giving out the shoulder shrug? You was giving out the SSD? 
Hey, no. gorgeous, you missed it. We was talking about that SSD. You know what that SSD is? What's that? You a basketball fan? You remember when Jordan hit them threes and he was like, oh. I yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's when you're giving that shoulder shrug dick. You look at this. Yeah, I remember that. Man, shut up. Listen, G Gorgeous always yeah. know how many Super Bowls Ma Ma Magic Jordan won. Oh, you're disrespectful, bro. You're disrespectful. When you were stroking Gorgeous back in your heyday before, way, way, way before you got married, and you was doing your thing, and you just looked at that, you said, G, okay. And she looked at you like, oh my God. And you was like, I don't know, my mom, but just enjoy this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have, I have absolutely no idea what you speak of. <laughs> Wait, hold you on. You know your dick was in the zone at one point. Tell me about that time your dick was in the zone. <laughs> when you was in the zone. Reem says, you know, no. says, says he does it every month. You're like, Whoa. Well, no, once a year, once a year. Once, well, a, year. once a year, he goes to the zone. You're like, you're, you're but I don't act surprised. Experience. I don't act surprised like Steph does. I'm like, wait, yeah, right, right, right. I'm, I'm like, like, yeah, I'm yeah. still that guy. I'm you're still that guy. Man, call me Big Slater with the dab. Yo, but, 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 wait, 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 really quick. How many y'all actually think about when the day come when the dick don't work no more? Only you, man, because you got your oh, plan set. I never you already think know about what your plan that. is. Your plan you never is think about that? About no, no, no. Yeah, as long as they got pills, I'm all good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you crazy? Yeah. This I never thing had that work. Of, I never I had that guess, type of problem to think about. Huh? I feel like. <laughs> I feel oh, listen to me. There's going to come a point where there ain't no pill in the world to help your ass. Nah, be, I, yeah, because I won't be here. There will be a drug. There will, there will be a drug. <laughs> you ever had a bad experience <laughs> with me? It was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> it will be because when he's ready to go, if you do what you're supposed to do, he will be ready to go. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> Ballin'. Yo, 